Tony Stevens of Speed Sport will be down to talk to our top three. The Joe Shear Tribute. two-time national short track champion and now a Joe Shear classic winner driver of the 36 from Edgerton the T1 Racing Savage Roofing sponsored machine by wiping back a few tears down there wiping the sweat away as well what a race that was cool <laughs> The winner of the Joe Shear Classic here in the year 2021. In his 45th year behind the wheel in that 36 car. He's got the helmet off. Taking a moment. Man, oh man. $10,000 richer. I don't think he'd care if it was zero dollars. The way this one turns out, this race, what it means to him. Ooh, man, oh man. in the Joe Shear Classic. Much of the Shear family here in attendance, the crew, one of the most enthusiastic on pit road. Rich, come over here. There are stories about race car drivers that find the fifth gear, the sixth gear, something inside themselves they never thought they had. Where did yours come from today? I know we've had nothing but problems all, all day, day and yesterday and this car was so bad qualifying and everything that we kept throwing stuff at it and man, I, you know, it's been a long time since I won a race and, and we've had some super fast cars and just can't seem to get the job done but uh, gotta congrats that four kid, he reminds me a lot of me back when I was a punk but, uh, but uh, some days it's your day, I think Joe's looking down, um, for Pete Sykes, the record driver that died, my dad, first time he's been in the race in probably 12 years, um, pretty special moment. Um, 1985, Joe Shearer was on button for this race for 90 laps, just like the four kid was. And if I made a mistake, I would have lost. And nobody beat him back then, but he made me the driver on today, and him with Tom Refner and Trickle and Watson and Ziegler and everybody, you know. And uh, I'll be 60 next week, and this is a hell of a way to celebrate. <laughs> 